بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate In this part, I'm talking about the agreement between the subject and the predicate Of course, the subject means anything referring to people, creatures, animals, abstract ideas, places And the predicate is that also can be nouns or or can be cl another clause or can be phrase has information about the subject okay and the predicate is in arabic language is three types in this part i'm showing you the first type which is not a clause not a sentence which is not a phrase it is not this and not this it is a, a nouns just nouns without the verb okay these they are all third person but they different from number and gender so let's see how the agreement between the subject and the predicate will be first sentence المدرس قادم so, المدرس قادم third person singular masculine without any suffix so there is so you see the subject matches the predicate and there is no verb and this predicate we call it this one الخبر this one المبتدئ this one المبتدئ this one الخبر and الخبر gives information about المبتدأ okay and it, the meaning is the teacher is coming but there is no verb here you can see that the verb is implied this word so you either say المدرس or المعلم same meaning here المدرسة قادمة المدرسة تمربوطة here تمربوطة قادمة this is the agreement so singular singular there is no suffix no suffix singular singular feminine because of the تمربوطة feminine and here the subject is dual masculine and this one is dual masculine because of Alif Wanun always Alif Wanun for dual and here Ta Alif Noon dual feminine Al Mudarisani Kadimani Al Mudarisani Kadimani Two two teachers are coming المدرستاني قادمتاني المدرستاني two teachers but this time female okay female teachers two two teachers here المدرسون قادمون so here plural Masculine, well and known. Always the well for masculine. Well and known. And here the plural feminine, alif wa ta. Here alif wa ta, the teachers. You see the agreement? This is agreement. To show you examples of uh, from Al Quran Al Karim, just to give you an idea about the structure in the Quran Karim. All right, so falnabda. I've written here three verses in the Quran Karim. 
The first one, I'm going to show you the agreement between the subject and the predicate or the subject and the verb. Okay, according to the person and gender and number. And the second and third example from Al-Quran Al-Kareem, I'm going to show you the special structure about that when you use a plural, when you use plural subject, okay, or agent or doer, you and what you want to start with the verb, you use singular form for it. This is a special uh, structure. So let's start with the first one. Okay, this uh, abstract from Surah Al-Baqarah. Walwalidatu yurdi'na. Now, alwalidatu. Alwalidatu. It is a plural for alwalidah. And I already gave you this word. When it is singular and this is a plural so al-walidah singular and this is plural al-walidatu uh, the mothers okay this is another word for al-ummu or al-ummahatu okay and of course you may know that in any languages we, we use different words for a meaning because every word ha has its characteristics. Okay. Well, this is the subject. Yurdi'na. Yurdi'na. So this verb in the present tense so where is the agreement the agreement is that this word this subject is a plural feminine okay of course it is third person plural feminine because of al futa waridatu and the verb has nun niswa and nun niswa always for group of women group of females so nun al niswa unlike wal jama'a it is exclusive for women group of women group of females okay so nun al niswa yurdi'na yurdi'na يرضعنا. This noon is attached subject pronoun. الوالدات the inner meaning in this word is that is referring to the mothers who give a birth. Okay, and Allah says that they should feed them like breastfeeding. Uh, two years two years not must but should is better okay this is the meaning so يرضعنا الوالدات يرضعنا الوالدات يرضعنا you see the sound of the group of female is نور النسوة here يرضعنا يرضعنا الوالدات يرضعنا Now let's move to the next here now in this one and this one I'm talking about the special structure about the verb so this verb this is the verb and this is the verb okay so yawma 
يوم تشهد عليهم ألسنتهم وأيديهم وأرجلهم This is from Surah An-Nur and this is from Surah An-Nur. Now, Tashhadu, bear witness. Tashhadu is a verb in a present tense. Tashhadu, where is the door? The door is three doors. We have three doors here, three subjects. al and then Aydihim, and then Arjuluhum. Okay. Uh, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about this word. Alsinatuhum is the plural for tongue. So this is tongues. Aidihim is the plural for hands. Okay. Aidihim hands. Arjuluhum means. Is the plural for leg or foot? So feet. Okay. Or legs. The meaning is that it's like in that day, in that day, the tongues and their hands and their legs or foot feet. Um they will bear witness about what they did in this life. Okay, now Tashhedu. So you see, this is a plural. And this is a plural and this is plural. This is feminine plurals. It's like when I gave you this example, تشاركوا الأمهاتو في حفل التخرج. So تشاركوا here, the first sound is the sound. You see, although it is plurals here, plurals doers, but the verb is in singular form. This is a special structure. Is in the is in the singular form teshed. It is not. Yashhadna, it is not Yashhadna, it is Tashhadu. Let's move to the third one. Again, the same thing. Tataqallabu fihi al qulubu wal absar. Again, Tataqallabu fihi. Now, where is the verb? This one. In the present tense. That the sound the beginning. Where is the subject or door or the agent? Al-Qulubu. And al absaru the hearts. So where is the subject? Where is the doer? Where is the agent? Here. Kulubu. al absaru It is plural. The hearts. And the sides. Here. Okay, so the doer is plural, but the verb is in singular form tataqallabu this is special structure when you start with the verb but when you start with the noun there is a match between the subject and predicate or the subject and the verb so when you start with the subject the noun there is always a match. There is always an agreement between the subject and predicate or between the subject and the verb, okay? whether it is in the past tense or in the present tense. So you will see 
the agreement according to the person, according to the number, according to the gender. Hope it's clear. If you have any question, please write in the comment. شكرا لكم مع السلامة.